हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नंद कुमार राव बावले फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अंबाजोगे इज गोइंग टू डील विथ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मिनिमम स्पीड फॉर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ ए सेंट्रिफ्यूगल पंप एंड न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन मिनिमम स्पीड एंड मल्टी स्टेज सेंट्रिफ्यूगल पंप्स एंड न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन मल्टी स्टेज सेंट्रिफ्यूगल पंप सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेसिफिक स्पीड ऑफ ए सेंट्रिफ्यूगल पंप then model testing of a centrifugal pump and numericals on this uh, model testing or similarity analysis of a centrifugal pump so now uh, what this specific speed of a centrifugal pump specific speed itself is defined as the speed of a centrifugal pump and which is a speed of a geometrically similar pump geometrically similar pump means say for example there are two objects object number 1 and object number 2 so these two objects are circles so this is one object which is having radius r capital r and another object is having radius small r so the shape of both the objects is circle radius there is a difference in the radius only there is a size uh, difference so this is a larger and this is smaller so in case of uh, this Uh, geometrically similar means all the dimensions of uh, another uh, object are going to be same that that means if there are two pumps which are geometrically similar all the dimensions are in proper ratio and where the dimensions are different no doubt dimensions are different but they are of same shape they are of same shape not of same size size is different whereas shape is same so such objects are known as geometrically similar objects so here <coughs> the speed of a geometrically similar pump and which would deliver liquid of 1 meter cube per second against the head of 1 meter so if a small pump there are two pumps say for example a larger pump and a smaller pump so if this smaller pump <coughs> is geometrically similar with this larger pump and if it delivers uh, the liquid of 1 meter cube per second against the head of 1 meter and the speed of this smaller pump compared with this larger pump is known as a specific speed of a centrifugal pump <coughs> so now so what this specific speed of centrifugal pump how to find the equation for specific speed that we see so the discharge of a centrifugal pump the discharge we can say the discharge of centrifugal pump is given by q is equal to area into velocity of flow so this area is nothing but pi d into b into velocity of flow is given by vf1 so vf q is equal to <coughs> pi d vf now we call this as equation number 1 or we can say this q is proportional to pi sorry d b and vf so this is proportional to the product of diameter width of the impeller and flow velocity where d is the diameter d is diameter of impeller and b is width of width of impeller now we can say this uh, diameter and uh, width are also proportional to each other so larger is the diameter larger will be width so these are also directly proportional therefore width is directly proportional to the diameter <coughs> so like that so if uh, width is directly proportional to the diameter we can call this as equation number 2 so width is directly proportional to diameter means this diameter uh, width can be replaced by diameter in equation number 1 so this q we can write as d into d into vf in place of b we can substitute d so therefore this q is proportional 
to d square vf so q is proportional to d square vf we can call this as equation number three so now what we know is uh, the tangential velocity velocity of impeller is given by u is equal to pi d n divided by 60. So now what we can say is this pi divided by 60 is constant we can write this as u is proportional to d into n we can call this as equation number 4. <coughs> this as equation number four so that is tangential velocity is directly proportional to diameter and revolutions so now this tangential velocity tangential velocity which is represented by u and velocity of flow and flow velocity vf are related with the manometric head head hm by this relation u is proportional to vf and vf is proportional to square root of hm <coughs> we can call this as equation number five so now what we can write is from equation number five and equation number this as four equation four and five what we can write is from equation number five we can write u is proportional to square root of hm <coughs> or u is proportional to dn means dn is proportional to hm <coughs> so from equation number four and five we can write dn is proportional to hm or <coughs> square root of hm or we can write this as d is proportional to square root of h m divided by n so we can call this as equation number six now what we can uh, write is uh, in equation for uh, this what you say discharge q is equal to equation number three q is equal to q is proportional to d square vf so what we can write is uh, q is proportional to in place of d square now we can substitute this square root of hm divided by n whole square into vf <coughs> or we can write this as q is proportional to hm divided by n square into vf so now we can <coughs> write this as uh, q is proportional to hm divided by n square vf but what we know is this vf is also proportional to square root of hm so vf is proportional to square root of hm so replacing this vf by square root of hm so what we can write here is q is equal to sorry q is proportional to hm divided by n square into square root of hm square root of hm means hm to the power of 1 by 2 so q is proportional to hm to the power of 1 into hm to the power of 1 by 2 divided by n square so this square root can be written as power 1 by 2 so q is proportional to hm to the power of 3 divided by 2 divided by n square so q is proportional to this h to the power of hm to the power of 3 by 2 divided by 
n square now what we can do is q is equal to removing this proportionality sign we can take constant k is uh, q is equal to k h m to the power of 3 by 2 divided by n square where k is constant of proportionality k is constant of proportionality therefore <coughs> according to the definition of this uh, specific speed so when we say speed as uh, spe speed as specific speed n as n s so when this pump is going to discharge q is equal to 1 meter cube per second against the head of hm is equal to 1 meter so when we substitute in this above equation say equation number 7 so when we substitute in equation number 7 q is equal to 1 and hm is equal to 1 at that time this n becomes ns because n is defined as specific speed so therefore we can write this q as is equal to 1 and k hm is also equal to 1 1 to the power of anything that is 3 by 2 is also 1 divided by n we can write as ns so therefore we can get this ns is equal to k so value of k is ns so we can call this as equation number 8 so this value of N k can be substituted as ns in equation number 7 so therefore equation number 7 becomes so equation number 7 becomes already this equation number 7 we write this here q is equal to k h m to the power of 3 by 2 divided by n square so this q is equal to k value is n s h m to the power of 3 divided by 2 divided by n square <coughs> or n s is equal to we can write as q into n square divided by h m to the power of 3 divided by 2 so this equation equation number say 9 is the equation for sorry okay so this is ns square here uh, we did a mistake here uh, ns square means ns square is equal to k so k is nothing but ns square we can substitute this ns square so ns square is equal to this we get equation so now ns is equal to taking square root on both side so square uh, root of ns square is n square root of q is root q divided by h m to the power of 3 by 2 to the power of 1 by 2 so taking square root on both side so we can get this as ns is equal to n square root of q divided by h m to the power of 3 by 4 so powers are multiplied 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 becomes 3 by 4 so now we call this as equation number 9 so this equation number 9 is the equation for specific speed of a centrifugal pump <coughs> so there was a minor mistake here so here ns square so ns square we get k is equal to ns square so substituting k is equal to ns square in equation number 7 uh, uh, sorry equation number 7 so equation number 7 is taken here so in place of k we have substituted ns square so this ns square we are going to find out ns square transferring this n on other side it will be in multiplication with q and this hm to the power of 3 by 2 will be in the denominator so then taking square root on both side so square root of ns square becomes ns and on other side square root of q is root q and square root of n square is n whereas hm to the power of 3 by 2 to the power of 1 by 2 square root in the denominator so 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 becomes 3 by 4 so this is how we have obtained the equation or expression for specific speed of a centrifugal pump <coughs> now what this is a model testing <coughs> so now generally what happens 
we need to manufacture or fabricate the pumps of larger size so those pumps which are of larger size are called larger size or actual actual pumps actual pumps are called as prototype we call those as prototype so before manufacturing this prototype models are manufactured so <coughs> what is model model is nothing but the pump of model is nothing but pump of smaller size having same geometry having same geometry as the prototype and these prototypes are tested sorry uh, models are tested and the results are predicted and the results are apl applied for the prototype also so before manufacturing actual pumps or prototypes models are manufactured and the models are tested the results of model are predicted and compared with the, <coughs> the results of prototype so therefore uh, to conduct tests on model and performance of prototype uh, has to be predicted the complete similarity between model and actual pump that is prototype will exist if the following conditions are uh, satisfied so what are the conditions so condition number one so what is condition number one specific speed of model must be equal to specific speed of <coughs> of prototype Specific, uh, specific speeds must be same so that is specific speed of model must be equal to specific speed of prototype so just now we have obtained the equation for specific speed so n square root of q divided by h m to the power of 3 by 4 for model must be equal to n into square root of q divided by hm to the power of 3 by 4 for prototype so this is the first condition which which it has to satisfy so the specific speed of model must be equal to specific speed of prototype so this is first condition then what is second condition that we see so second condition so as uh, the tangential velocity is given tangential velocity u which is given by u is equal to pi d n divided by 60 <coughs> and this u is proportional to square root of h m that also we know so now uh, already we have derived one relation square root of h m is proportional to d n proportional to d n according to the equation number So this is the equation. We can call this as phi u b. <coughs> From equation phi u b, d n is proportional to h m or square root of h m. So now uh, we can uh, transfer this d n in the denominator that is square root of h m divided by d n. So what is going to remain on right hand side is nothing or we can say 1 or we can write this as square root of h m divided by d n is equal to constant is equal to constant so now uh, this constant constant must be same for uh, prototype and model so therefore what we can write here square root of h m divided by d n 
square model must be equal to square root of hm divided by dn for prototype must be <coughs> same so now uh, already one equation we have seen that is q is proportional to d square into vf so this was equation number q is equal to equation number three q is proportional to d square into vf so from this we can write here so now this q is proportional to d square vf or q is proportional to d square vf is proportional to d into n d into n so we know this is from previous equation vf is proportional to dn you can see here e is proportional to dn and uh, e is proportional to vf e is proportional to d into n so vf is proportional to d into n so therefore q is proportional to d cube n d cube n so therefore what we can write is q is equal to some constant k d cube n or we can write this constant k is equal to q divided by d cube into n so this constant k must be same for uh, model and prototype therefore we can write this as q divided by d cube n for model must be equal to q divided by d cube n for prototype so now for power of a pump fourth point is for power of a pump so this is third point fourth one is fourth condition is power of pump is given by p is equal to rho into g into q into hm divided by 75 this is in horsepower this is in horsepower so what we do is 75 rho and g are constants these terms are constants so directly this power is proportional to q into hf and this q is proportional so this p q is proportional to d cube n just now we have seen q is proportional to d cube n so d cube n into hf so this q is replaced from this equation q is proportional to d cube n so q is replaced by d cube n into hm so what we can do is this hm is nothing but uh, proportional square root of hm square root of hm is proportional to dn or uh, this hm is proportional to d square n square taking square on both sides so this hm is re uh, replaced by d square n square this in this equation so we can write p is proportional to d cube n into d square n square so replacing this hm by d square n square we can write p is proportional to d to the power of 5 n to the power of 3 so now taking constant of proportionality p is equal to k d to the power of 5 n cube so where k is constant of proportionality we can call this as k is equal to p divided by d to the power of 5 n to the power of 3 so this constant k must be same for both model and prototype therefore what we can write is p divided by d to the power of 5 n to the power of 3 for model must be same for p divided by d to the power of 5 n to the power of 3 for prototype so this is the similarity equation for model and prototype if a model and uh, <coughs> prototype satisfy these four conditions then we can say that the model and prototypes are similar now we'll see one numerical over this a single stage so there are two pumps this is a single stage centrifugal pump we call as a first pump 
with impeller diameter D1, 30 centimeter, and rotates at 2000 rpm N1, and lifts the water Q1 is equal to 3 meter cube per second to a height HM1. So HM1 is 30 meter with an efficiency of manometric efficiency is given as 75 percent. Find the number of stages and diameter of each impeller of a similar multi-stage so this word is used similar multi-stage pump is multi-stage so number of stages are more so there is not a single uh, stage it is having number of stages so to lift 5 meter cube of water so q2 is given of water to a height of hm2 manometric head 2 when rotating at 1500 rpm n2 is given so we have two pumps, one pump with a single stage and second pump having multiple stages. We have to compare these two uh, uh, pumps, single stage centrifugal pump and multi-stage centrifugal pump. We have to find out number of stages of multi-stage uh, pump and then uh, what is asked here find the number of stages and diameter D2. So diameter D2 is to be obtained and number of stages we have to find out. So we will take out this data. So diameter D1 for a single stage is 30 centimeter means 0.3 meter running at 2000 rpm and delivering 3 meter cube per second. Whereas manometric head is 30 meters and manometric efficiency is 75% that is 0.75. Whereas a multi-stage pump is delivering 5 meter cube per second, running at 1500 rpm total head. So uh, each uh, head, uh, that is HM2, head of each stage, we have to find out. And that HM2, head of each stage, if we divide it total head, then we will get number of stages. So number of stages divided by D2. So what equations we have to do? So to find out stage uh, number of stages we have to find out head of multi-stage pump head of each stage of multi-stage pump so to find out hm2 what we have to do we have to take this as n1 q1 hm1 and this is n2 q2 hm2 so what this is uh, just now we have derived one equation for specific speed specific speed of model and prototype must be same so we treat first pump as a model and second pump as prototype so comparing these two we can obtain so n1 is known q1 is known n2 is known q2 is known <coughs> hm1 is known hm2 we don't know uh, head that can be developed by each stage is not known so we have to find out hm2 so this is one thing then another equation that we have to use is we have to find out diameter so where diameter exists so we have derived one equation that is square root of hm divided by d1 n1 is equal to square root of hm1 so square root of hm2 divided by d2 n2 <coughs> so we know n1 we know n2 we know d1 we know hm1 we know hm2 so only unknown is D2. So we have to use these two equations to find out diameter and um, number of stages. So we'll simplify this. <coughs> so very first, um, we will use this equation that is N1 square root of Q1 divided by HM1 to the power of 3 by 4 is equal to N2 square root of Q2 divided by hm2 to the power of 3 by 4 so what we know and what we don't know that we see here so we know n1 that is 2000 rpm 2000 rpm square root of q1 so q1 is 3 meters per meter cube per second so 3 divided by hm1 head developed by single pump is 30 meters so divided by 30 which is equal to n2 is 1500 rpm 1500 rpm <coughs> square root of q2 q2 is 5 meter cube per second so 5 divided by hm2 which we don't know 
xm2 to the power of 3 by 4. So on simplification, if uh, we simplify this, we get xm2 as <coughs> 28.71 meters so head of multi-stage pump for each stage this is head produced by each stage so now to find out number of stages number of stages is equal to total head divided by head produced by each stage so we can get this as <coughs> head produced by total uh, pump is 200 meter so 200 divided by head produced by each stage is 28.71 so on simplification we get this as 6.96 or approximately this is 7 stages so we get 7 stages so multi-stage pump must have at least 7 stages then only it can produce the head of 200 meter so now using second equation to find out diameter so hm1 square root of hm1 divided by d1 n1 is equal to square root of hm2 divided by d2 n2 so we know hm1 that is 30 d1 we know that is 30 centimeter means 0 0.3 0 0.3 meter 0.3 meter into n1 is 2000 rpm which is equal to square root of hm2 already we know now that is 28.71 divided by d2 we don't know n2 is 1500 sound simplification we get time t2 as 0 0.3 into 9 meter 391 meter 0.391 meter or d2 is equal to we get as 39.1 meter so this is how we are going to obtain diameter <coughs> so with this we stop here